Mountain bike marathon racing is definitely on a high at the moment, with some events hosting up to 2,000 competitors. But until this year, marathon racing lacked a cohesive series of events with serious prize money for overall winners. The Real Insurance XEM series brought together four of the ACT and New South Wales most popular events and put up a $15,000 prize purse for the male and female winners, as well as the king and queen to the mountains. With this impetus, the elite fields have increased in size and quality, resulting in close and highly competitive racing across the first three rounds. The series opener was a relatively new event that uniquely takes place in and around a major city. The Capital Punishment Marathon starts east of Canberra in Cowan Forest and traverses to the southwest of the city, finishing at Stromlo Forest Park. With hometown advantage on his side, Dylan Cooper stamped his authority on the race early by taking the King of the Mountains points, but after the neutral section, he was passed by James Downing and Craig Gordon. Working together with Pete Hatton, Cooper tried to pair back their advantage. At the finish, the first over the line was Downing, closely followed by Gordon, but they would endure a nervous wait to see if Cooper's combined time would knock them off the podium. As Cooper came to a screeching halt, so did their chances. Cooper, a jubilant winner after a tough day on the bike. I had some chain problems, my chain jammed and um, twisted, so I had to stop for about a minute and a half and lost the whole front group and the second group and a couple more guys, so I was in about 30th and uh, I was, yeah, I thought it was all over. Jenny Fay took control early in the women's category, taking the Queen of the Mountains, while second place Vanina Virgos suffered mechanical troubles and wouldn't see the Irish-born rider until the finish. It's good to get one race under my belt and out of the way and hopefully get some points going forward for the rest of the season. The second event in the series took riders to the sleepy hamlet of St Albans on the Hawkesbury River for the Dirtworks Classic. The oldest event in the series also throws up the most surprises, with the rain clearing to an all-enveloping fog. Fresh from winning the Solo 24-hour championships, Jason English would have normally been considered a major threat, but he would be carrying an injury into the race. I'll stay in there and try and get some points for the series and see how we go. There's a lot of you know, fast boys around once again because everyone's keen to get those series points, so um, time will tell, I guess. Rock, sand and more rock characterises the dirt works. Only tough riders and resilient machines survive. After third place in Canberra, Tasmania's Ben Mather was keen to make amends, taking a substantial early lead, but Matt Fleming and Sean Lewis worked hard to chase him down. At Mather's first attempt at the Classic, he held off the pursuers and cemented himself into the XCM Series leader's jersey. Ben Mather takes out the Dirt Works 100 km Classic. Found that I had reasonably good legs and uh, Matthew Fleming and myself were able to, to ride away up the hill and get a bit of a gap. We, uh, we stayed together until about the 30 km mark and then from there I just found that I was riding a little bit stronger and thought, well, maybe it's time to, uh, to you know, push my luck and uh, see how I go and I was able to hang on to the end. I knew what was to come in that last 30 and he's never done it so I thought maybe he's just pushed that little too hard, maybe he'll blow up a little bit but he obviously just still had something left to get over those climbs. After her troubles at the previous event it was an incident free ride to victory in the women's category for Vanina Virgos. Well, I definitely had a better race than uh, Capital Punishment and yeah I'm happy I had a good race today. After the wet conditions of the dirt works, riders were hoping for some reprieve for round three, but it was not to be, as the night before, rain pelted the course for the Husky 100. After missing the last round due to a broken collarbone, Jenny Fay was hoping for an untroubled run to the line. Hopefully I can take out the win today. Uh, I am aiming to probably just keep towards the pointy end of the field and keep out of trouble with the water. While Matt Fleming has been consistent throughout the series, he knew he would need to step up to have a chance for the overall. I'm currently running second, but um, really haven't had a probably a win result that probably will help me win it overall. King of the Mountains leader Dylan Cooper was anticipating a very tactical race. This sort of terrain around the coast is uh, normally sandy and, and clay, so tire jaws is going to be a big thing. And um, being fast, maybe um, everyone will stay together and it might be interesting at the finish. True to his word, Fleming took the race by the horns and established a sizeable lead early. He was first to summit the King of the Mountains, with Cooper three minutes behind, while Jenny Fay recorded more points in the Queen of the Mountains competition. Cooper again found himself on the back foot, but this time it was not to be for the Canberran, as Matt Fleming held the gap to take victory and move into the lead of the series. 
I think the conditions probably suited me. It's a very flat course, it was wet, it was muddy, so it's very, very dead course. And it's one of those courses where I could just sit in and just really uh, grind away, big gears, no climbs, and then just keep pushing the whole day. The competition for the top five in the men's series will come down to the wire at the Briars Highland Fling next weekend, and the contenders will have to put it all on the line. Matt Fleming's first, second and sixth place finishes put him more than 700 points ahead of Anthony Shippard. But with only the best three out of four race results counting towards the overall, Dylan Cooper and Ben Mather, who have only done two events, are seen to be the most likely threats to Fleming. Still got to look out for like Ben Mather and uh, Dylan Cooper. They've basically, I think, got to finish inside the top six and ahead of me and they can probably still take, take over in the series. So in other words, I'm probably going to have to have a great day. The Real Insurance XCM Series champions will be presented in Bundanoon on November 13. Jim Trail for Cycle Nation.